In your first court conference, in your civil lawsuit involving an accident matter or medical malpractice or wrongful death, is that first conference in court held behind closed doors in secret? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney practicing law in the state of New York. No, it's not in secret. Everything that goes on in the courthouse is open to the public. You walk into any courtroom, it's open to the public. Anyone can come in, sit down, and observe what's going on. Now, before you go ahead and do that, I have to share something with you. You should know that the very first conference you're going to have is with the attorneys. That's really a scheduling conference, and we lawyers like to call that a preliminary conference. The court refers to that also as a preliminary conference. And that preliminary conference is an opportunity for the attorneys to set up a schedule of when things are going to take place in your particular matter. And once the attorneys reach an agreement as to when things will happen, now that gets put into a document, it's really a form, and you fill out the blanks. And now you hand it up to the court clerk. The court clerk then gives it to the judge to sign. And now we get a copy of that signed order. And that's it. The litigants never show up. There's no reason to. We don't speak to the judge typically unless there's a clear dispute with the attorneys about when things have to be done. And for the most part, the attorneys can come to an agreement amongst themselves as to when things get done. Now, you should also know that the judge gives the attorneys parameters and time frames about when things are supposed to be done and when they're supposed to be concluded. Included. So now, assuming everybody is in agreement as to the time frame, now we go ahead and fill in the blanks on the form, hand it to the court clerk, the judge signs it, we get a copy of it, and now that's it for the day. And then you, as the injured victim, as the client, you will get information from your attorney about when you have to appear for your pretrial testimony. And in all likelihood, he's going to tell you when things are going to happen during the course of your lawsuit. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you because some people think that when the attorney says, hey, I'm going into court on this conference for you, you think it's behind closed doors. You think it's in secret. You think they're discussing something worldly or having some great conversation about the details of your case. The reality is just the opposite. You know, I realize you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but you have questions that need answers first, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.